In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I made a cart for my shop. This is the finished cart uh, made from just some pieces of three quarter inch plywood and uh, about four two by fours. Um, also has casters on the bottom so it'll move around the shop pretty easily. And this is the main reason why I'm building the cart. Um, I have a pretty basic dust collection system with a shop vac and a dust separator uh, that I then connect up to my table saw uh, or my joiner or other tools. Um, have these uh, just sitting on the, the floor of the shop right now and I really wanna uh, make it a lot easier to move them around together. So I'm gonna put them on the bottom of the cart and then I'll still have this top tray here for additional storage and keeping things on hand. All right, so here are the pieces of the shop cart prior to assembly. First off, we've got the bottom tray. Uh, this is just a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Uh, I cut it to the dimensions so that I can fit my shop vac and my dust extractor in here together pretty snugly. The only addition I made to this is to laminate an additional piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood onto each end. This will give us some additional weight for the casters that will attach from the bottom and then also the posts that will attach from the side here. All right, so the other main pieces are the post and the rails, which are made from two by fours. Uh, this is a, one of the posts here. Um, so using my dado stack on my table saw, I just cut out a notch at the bottom for where it'll attach to the bottom tray. And then uh, one here um, towards the top where the, the top tray will slide on in. And then we'll just attach it with screws uh, from the outside here. So it'll kind of slide in just like this. So the one other difference I have on the bottom tray is that I want to keep one of these sides um, easily accessible. So I don't want to have all, all of the both of the rails, the long rails screwed in completely. So as you can see here, um, I cut in a couple of slots at the bottom so that I can have uh, a loose rail that just slides in and sits there without being fully screwed in. Uh, I cut these with my Festool Domino. So I have these cut here and then I have um, that specific rail right here and I just glued in a couple of dominoes here um, at the same spots. So this will allow it to slide in, um, be pretty secure, but then if I need to remove this so I can get the shot back out uh, or the dust extractor more easily, uh, comes out easily and then goes right back in. All right, so here's the finished cart. I uh, have the casters installed. I went ahead and put the shot back and my dust separator in there to make sure it fit well. Um, it's pretty much ready to go at this point. Uh, as you can see, it moves around pretty well. I need to trim up the hose that connects my shop vac to my dust separator because it doesn't need to be as long anymore. Uh, but other than that, it's finished up. Really liking this top tray. Uh, we're gonna be some additional space for some of the regular things I need to have on hand uh, within easy reach. Um, that's pretty much it. Shop cart's done.